apparently now YouTube doesn't allow you to show your liked videos publicly at all, so it's always private. You can't even show it as a hidden. But there is an easy workaround about this problem, and that is this little icon here, the Chromecast. You can connect to anything as long as it has Google Chromecast. If you cannot connect to it, as for this, I'll just use my TV because this is the easiest way to show it. But you can connect even to Google Home if you want. So what you want to do is connect to the TV and you can see it's already connected. And what you want to do, well, I'm just going to use my second account because it has a lot of music in it. So now you can just go in your library and here is liked videos. As you can see, it unlike other, it doesn't have thumbnail, it just has this uh, like icon. What you want to do is click on that, click on the big red button, and here it will say add to queue. And so now we can just go back and expand this here at the bottom. And now you essentially have the whole thing copied. But if you want to save it, just click on here. The bottom says delete and the top says create new playlist. So you want to click that and you want to call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it test because that's the only thing I can think of now. So now, you just minimize that, and you refresh the page. And as you can see here, is your liked videos. All of them. And it takes around 2 seconds, and you don't even have to actually use the device with the Chromecast. It just has to be connected. That's all. So you can add stuff to queue. And essentially, that way you can merge stuff. Like, merge, let's say this and this. I'm just gonna demonstrate it quickly. Expand this and remove all that. Delete. So let's take this. Add this. This has 120 videos in it. Let's add it to Q. And let's take, let's say this one with 72 videos on it. And add to so now, as you can see, it has 182 videos. So you can just merge your playlists that way if you don't want to add stuff manually. And yeah, you just do the same. Click on the dots, create new playlist, and just create it. And then you, you do not have to delete it, but refresh again. And here you have it. As easy as that. I don't know why they removed the option, but at least it works like this now. Also, I don't know why Pigeon is queen. Pigeon. Stop. Okay, so that's that's usually it. That's, it takes about two minutes. It takes longer to explain than actually do. Oh, I hope you find this useful because it was really useful for me. Especially when you have to share a big playlist with a friend or something. And you don't want to literally copy like 2000 songs. Because I really don't want to do that because I'm lazy as fuck. Let's be honest. See so, ya. Yeah.